Okay, it's quite often that you need to present data either in a word processed format or an online presentation or a PowerPoint presentation in a meeting. Um, these days it's there's mixed the jury's out I guess the mixed opinion on whether it's good to have a dark background or a light background or color or black and white. Um, to be honest, I tend to use white backgrounds on my PowerPoint slides with dark text on them, but in a very dark auditorium at a big international conference or even a student seminar where the room's dark, big white slides with black graphs on don't tend to look very good. They tend to blind the audience, so it's quite nice to have maybe a slightly darker background. In which case, if you pasted a picture like this onto a, um, a light or a dark background, it would look very different. I'm just going to load PowerPoint in the background here. Um, while I'm talking to you and then we'll we'll do a little demo of that so this is a uh, a good graph to look uh, on paper but wouldn't look particularly good in the dark background so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a duplicate copy of this graph because the data are fine we're happy with the data a duplicate copy of this graph and then what we're going to do is we're going to change all the colors within prism you don't need to be copying and pasting into PowerPoint editing your graph and changing all the colors you do that within prism so I'm going to go to my graph here experiment 2 right click and I'm going to duplicate the current sheet make a copy of this graph it's now called copy of Expe experiment 2 and I'm going to just relabel this PPT for PowerPoint that's going to be my PowerPoint experiment 2 so I've got PowerPoint loaded up on my other screen here and I'm just going to uh, bring it into view here we are and so we've got a nice white background we're going to go to our prism file and we're going to highlight that we're going to copy it into PowerPoint and we're going to go paste special as a Windows meta file and lo and behold it pastes it in it can scale it and it looks very nice it looks very pretty on a white background and that would work very well in the meeting I'm going to make a new slide here in PowerPoint and I'm going to uh, delete all the stuff that's on it and I'm going to change the background to you know, what most people have as a very standard gradient fill background not very exciting um, I admit, but I'm just going to quickly change this to a fairly dark color just so we get the idea of um, you know a kind of standard PowerPoint presentation that people would would normally see at a meeting. So there we are. So there's my standard dark background. If I now paste my graph onto this, it looks a little bit wrong. Um, I'm going to move that over to the left and just highlight the the wrongness of it all. You can't see the text. You could if you wanted to here you could try and edit the picture and it would say this is an imported picture do you want to convert it you go yes and it's broken the picture apart and I can do all the editing in PowerPoint um, but that's not what I'm wanting to do so I'm going to go back to the original picture and go back into prism so now what I can do here is I can change the background of this slide and therefore start playing with the colors within prism um, changing backgrounds is very easy you right click and down the side here you can choose all of the various things so background color I'm just going to change to a dark blue there we are so now everything's dark blue I can highlight my entire graph within prism and first of all I can choose the text color so make all the text go white I can click on the Y axis choose the text white the X axis white text and the legend and the sorry the labels I can make them white as well so slowly but surely without much effort I'm making the graph go white again you can right click on the Y or the X axis and choose the color so we can make these axes white as well and now everything is is white uh, everything's a nice color I could choose to have these axes for instance as a yellow color I mean, I'll do that just just for the sake of argument clearly these graphs don't work very well yet on this background so I can double click on any of the graphs and I can choose the colors I'm going to choose red and green, I think, just for the sake of it. So this one is going to be a, a red color, and then my inhibitor is going to be a green color. I'm going to turn off the fill pattern, so I've now just got red and green bars. And I want my error bars to be a white color, so I can double click on back here again. I'm doing this in bits just to, to make a, a point. So I can choose this and be white, and I can do that for all of the data sets. So that's all going to be white now and then I want to make the borders of these the same color as the bars themselves. So I'm going to right click, or double click sorry, on the red thing and you can see here the border is going to be black so let's change that to red and then with the inhibitor the borders black so let's change that to the same color, that's the wrong color 
the same color green where is that green there it is press OK and now you can see the graphs actually look quite nice it's reset the error bars I'm not altogether happy with that so I'm going to change those error bars back to white again and now we've got our colored graph with nicely labeled axes everything looks uh, in the right color and now I can copy this from within prism and I can go into PowerPoint and I can paste special as a Windows Meta file and now I've got my colored graph showing on the screen next to the original graph um, interestingly you could have it in the white background as well just to just see how that looks and of course it looks completely wrong on the white background but the beautiful thing is now we've got a color version we can use on our dark background we have a black and white version we can use here we are on our white background and the data sets are linked within prism so we go back to our data in prism you can see here graphs ppt experiment 2 is in bold and this one up here data table 2 is also in bold so the data in this table are linked to the data in this graph as are all the analysis and everything else so it means that if you do happen to make a mistake or you add more data to this graph or you repeat the experiment and increase your n number or you decide to add another drug, drug group to it and increase all the n numbers you've got the graph ready made you can just recopy and paste into PowerPoint so that broken up image in PowerPoint which you cannot edit you can now because you've got a new version in Prism so I hope that helps it's actually a really useful thing just to make this work and just in case you're wondering well how do I repeat that for all my other graphs let's go to the first graph uh, experiment one let's duplicate this one and we'll call this PPT experiment one there's a button in uh, Prism which is incredibly useful that allows you to match the formatting of graphs with each other so for instance I want to match the formatting of this graph with the formatting of this graph so I choose this one and I click on the magic button make graphs consistent and look it's got all the graphs that I've currently got in this project including my new color one so I click on the color one and I go next and you can see immediately what it's done it's decided to recolor the graph using the colors that are in the original graph it's also changed anything with it tick lines fonts etc etc it's changed all the formatting the one thing it hasn't changed is the stars because there were no stars or lines in this graph so it cannot know to change those so I'll press OK now it's changed the background and it's changed all the colors and all I need to do is just highlight the little extras make them go white um, double click on my line and make that white and now you can see it's reformatted this graph um, what it's also done is it's got the scale matched which is actually quite nice for some presentations but in this case I'm just going to change the scale back to what I want it to be which I believe was 15 so click that back on 15 and now we've got those data of course again I only had two data sets so red and green now I've got green red and, and green um, if you look on here the colors don't really match they're not supposed to so I can just recolor these graphs to any color I fancy um, simply because they're, they're not consistent with the previous uh, graph anyway so that can be a horrible yellow color I'll leave that red because it's quite nice uh, and this one I can change to a, a nice little purple color um, and just change the error bar back to white again okay that yellow doesn't work at all so let's make that a nice uh, I think an orangey color maybe a little bit nicer um, make the error bars white there we are so that works for me so now we've got a second graph and we can copy that move that out of the way and paste special this into PowerPoint and now we've got two graphs that we can line up and move around in PowerPoint and rescale and they'll match in style and in color. So I hope that helps. Um, good luck with your PowerPoint presentations.